Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I want to show you how to go out there and find products that have the potential to do over a thousand pounds in sales every single day. So here we are then in the back end of one of my stores. And I just want to show you the sales numbers, particularly the first 22 days of June last month, just purely because then the 22nd was the point in which I reached that milestone of doing four figures in one single day. So typically with this store, then I average kind of around the sort of 400 pound mark that's typically average or at least it was for the beginning of the month at this point i was spending about two to three hundred pounds per day on ads so it was pretty much borderline profitable in fact on average it was probably less than profitable however i stuck with it because the data was good and as you can see there was like this random day there but then kind of from this point onwards things started to perform i started to increase my ads budget and things just kind of scaled up nicely there to the point where i was able to do over a thousand pound in one day so what I'm going to do in this video then is I've got this Google document we're going to be working through and I'm just going to be taking you through kind of like the different tools and resources and websites I used to find the products that produce the results I just showed you. Before we jump into this though, I just want to quickly mention very quickly, as always in every single video, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me. So a chance then for me and you to have a chat one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask me whatever you want, whatever you need help with, whether it's Facebook ads, picking interests, picking certain products, doing product research however you need help and if that is something you do want to win then for a chance to win that all you simply have to do is like the video and leave a comment down below if you commented on my previous video then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and with that being said then let's get straight back into it so when it comes to picking products then that sell well using Facebook ads then there's certain criteria in which the product needs to fit and one of those criteria or two of those if you can meet both of these then even better then the product must fit a sub niche and what I call the sub niche then is essentially a niche within a niche so for example then you could take the dog niche and then a sub niche within that would be certain dog breeds so it could be german shepherd it could be pit bulls it could be pugs and the reason for this being then is the more specific you can find a product that fits a certain market then the easier it is to target on facebook and the more passionate the audience is likely to be so for example then i have a german shepherd so any sort of dog product that i saw i would naturally have a keen interest in because i have a dog whereas if i saw a german shepherd product i would have more of a connection connection it'll be more relatable um, and I'll be more interested in it because I have that specific dog if that makes sense so the more kind of specific you can find a product that fits a certain market then the better and then if you can combine that with a product that actually solves a problem so it improves somebody's life then it isn't just a need product but it actually becomes a it isn't just a want product sorry it becomes a need product because it actually improves somebody's way of living it saves them money whatever it is it depends on what the product is so Number one then, go for a product that fits a sub niche and ideally solves a problem at the same time. Number two then is the cost of the product. So ideally you want to find a product that is the cost to you as a buyer on AliExpress for less than $10 delivered. And if that's gonna be troublesome, then I recommend going no higher than about $15, purely because at that price range, you can drop ship that product pretty much anywhere in the world and you won't have to worry about customs and duty. Just keep in mind though, that if you are having to spend that sort of money on your product, then it must be a decent product with a perceived value of at least $20 plus. The more the better, obviously. I like to, when I pick a product, for example, I like to try and leave at least £10 or $10 for cost per purchase when it comes to Facebook. Facebook ads are getting more expensive, so the more room you can leave in there for your marketing cost, then the better. What I mean by perceived value then is that when somebody sees that product, what it can do for them or the quality of it or how it looks um, is perceived to be of value of over $20 plus. So the next point then, when it comes to picking products, the easiest way to essentially be successful with a product is find a product that has a proven track record and a proven sales volume so this is where the dropshipping center comes in handy within aliexpress so just to demonstrate then how it works i've got my aliexpress account open here i've simply just gone to my profile my aliexpress and then you can see this tab here so dropshipping center and it gives you three different tools which are all going to come in handy at some point um, but just to give you an example then of how this product analysis works i've just got this really popular product here you just take the url put it into this box here click search and aliexpress then is going to give 
give you the sales data for the past week or so broken down by day to day basis. So if we just have a quick scroll through here, we can see a seven that day, 12 that day, 14. Um, it's natural to get the odd spike that could be down to somebody actually drop shipping this product or perhaps ordering a bulk of them. Um, it could be a number of reasons. And what you want to aim for then, in my opinion, what a solid product would produce is 1% per day of their total um, order volume. So these guys then have 4,280 orders. In my opinion, a strong product that has a strong demand currently right now um, would be averaging around 40 orders per day. And if a product does match that number, then you know that there's a solid demand for that product right this second. The next useful tool then that AliExpress gives us is to use the hot dropshipping items tab to find items in your niche, but make sure you always double check the sales volume as well before you go ahead and sell it so simple as this hot ds items so if you're already say running a store in the dog niche or in the women's clothing niche you can come onto here choose certain sub niches so we've got women's clothing is the niche and then your sub niche could be say for example i don't know let's just go for jumpsuits then aliexpress is going to give you kind of like the hot selling products right now but before you just shove all of these on your store then of course make sure you go to the actual product page and then copy and paste the link into the product analysis so you can actually double check that there is actually demands for those products. The next one then is one of my favorites because I'm really big on trying to find products that nobody else has brought to Facebook before because that is kind of like one of the main or key ingredients in terms of having a actual ad go viral because if it's something no one's seen before then they're more likely to actually engage with it. So using the trusted suppliers rank then the way I go about doing this is you simply go on to simply click the tab it'll bring you to this page here and then again if you you're already within a certain niche you can choose one that relates to you so for example then I actively sell in the dog niche which is in the home and garden and then pet products and then AliExpress is going to give you um, it usually gives you a few more supplies than this but nonetheless simply open them up into their own tab and there's two tabs in terms of what gain my interest number one is the new arrivals like I mentioned just a minute ago I like to find new products that nobody's ever seen before so always 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 make sure you check the new arrivals tab if you come across a supplier that purely focuses on one specific niche then when a new product comes to the market that's going to be big then obviously it's going to come from those actually manufacturing it so make sure you always check the new arrivals tab so we'll just load this up and just have a quick flick through a few different products so for example then i've never seen that specific elevated large dog bowl um, and that provides a health benefit for pets as well believe it or not for large dog breeds i have it for my dog that if you can if the bowl isn't elevated sorry then sometimes it can cause bloat and digestive problems apparently um, but anyway it was enough for me for the sake of spending like 20 pounds on an item it was enough for me to spend that um, to uh, potentially avoid that problem so anyway going off track there make sure you check the new arrivals make sure you check the top selling as well just in case there's some products that may have slipped through the net that you've never seen before and one thing you can do is you might not want to do it because it's quite time consuming but is contact all of these suppliers that focus on one specific niche and ask them if there's any products that they're currently working on any new products they're working on um, this will come naturally I mean if you stick to a certain niche you'll establish a pretty good relationship with your suppliers then naturally they'll just send you any new products that they're working on so back to the Google document and the next point is then for confirmation of any products or in fact to actually find new product ideas then it's always worth checking CJ dropshipping and chinabrands.com so CJ dropshipping then is a dropshipping agent um, it purely focus and only sell to dropshippers not end users therefore any sales volumes you see on this site you know are going to be purely specific to dropshipping therefore you know that there's a market for that particular product and there's a margin to be selling it whereas aliexpress there's a lot of end users so just because a product is selling well on aliexpress it doesn't necessarily mean there's a market for it to be dropshipped another website that's good to check is chinabrands.com i did actually find an agent once on there um, it's in my opinion actually it's considered one of the best places to find the most trustworthy agents there's a lot of um, kind of like scams and all sorts going around on Facebook so if you do want a drop shipping agent and you want to go somewhere um, quite trustworthy then I actually do recommend chinabrands.com just to give you an example then of what their sites look like so this is make sure you go to the actual app 
um, and you can got you've got all these different options so you can search by certain products you can search by certain categories it's going to give you best selling ranks so these are all products that are currently being drop shipped so you know there's a market for them you know there's room for a marketing cost um, so it's just a good place then to come for inspiration in terms of what China brands looks like then it looks very similar to AliExpress it works very similar in the same as well you've got all categories you can select the niche new arrivals hot sale um, I mean I don't need to show you how to use the website but feel free make sure you do check this one out um, because there's a lot of products on here that you won't actually find on AliExpress as well the next way you can be sure about certain products you have in mind then is using Google Trends if you don't use Google Trends then I thoroughly recommend you get to know um, what it is what it can do and the information it can provide so to give you an example then you can put any niche any search term any products whatever it is into here and it's going to give you the interest over time and ideally then you want to go into a niche or sell a product that is currently in a spike of interest so for example then this shapewear as you can see the interest and popularity of it has steadily increased all the way since like 2004 which is a really strong sign of a healthy market if anything it looks like it's just getting more and more popular and what I really like then about Google Trends is the fact that instead of having the UK up here we can put in worldwide and it's going to tell us exactly where the best or most popular markets are so if we just quickly scroll down we can see that interest by region that obviously Australia is a lot stronger market than for example the US Denmark is better than the UK Denmark is actually one of those countries I recommend you experiment with because they have quite a high English proficiency so there's going to be a high percentage of the country that will understand your ads and typically it's not a country you hear a lot of people talking about when it comes to drop shipping so definitely an, unta an untapped market um, just to give you an example of what else it can give you as well it gives you related queries so for example if you were to put quite a broad niche in there shapewear is not really that broad but if you were to just put dogs in there for example you could come down to related queries and it's going to give you different sort of sub niches um, again just to spark kind of like a different route of research um, for you potentially to go down Moving on to the next point then, this is a very important point, I do this again with every single product, is you use Facebook to check on competitors and model the actual potential ads if needs be. So to give you an example of what I would do then, say I wanted to, or say I was thinking about selling a dog bed, I would come onto Facebook, search for dog bed and then buy, um, I wouldn't just search for this search term as well, I'd have a play around with the different words, so I might put dog bed buy, then I might put dog bed get yours um, and what I'm looking at then is how many different people are selling the same product that I'm currently thinking about selling so for example and let's say I was trying to sell like this um, fluffy bed style here I know that's really popular at the moment then what I'm looking for is to see how many people are selling the same bed and whether there's actually whether they're actually dominating the market or not so that's the same bed as well so to do that then we look at the view so 114,000 views that's pretty decent not it's not really enough to put me off to be honest we're looking if you so for example then if you were to come on here and say the top 20 results would be the same dog bed a very similar ad and then each video would say have over a million views then it's It'd be pretty safe to say that everybody's seen that dog bed before everybody's seen that ad before and therefore it's going to be a more difficult market to actually break into but if you do find a product then you come onto Facebook there's hardly anybody selling it if anyone at all and they've all got say a few hundred views then the chances are you're going to be advertising to a fresh market that won't have seen your product before and it's just going to be a lot easier um, to sell successfully within that market so that's typically then how I go about finding the products, um, finding the proven track records, which is really important. The proven track record is probably more so important because you need the information behind the products because that's going to tell you how you want to market it and whether how competitive a market is as well. So depending on the products, then you either want to go down the Instagram route or Facebook route um, to bring your product to the market. Facebook works best when you target a specific interest. So going back to the whole sub niche um, the first point is that if there's a specific audience that you can specifically target on Facebook then of course it makes sense to use Facebook ads because you can target those people very specifically so for example if you were to sell let's say for example these lights behind me on the wall then obviously targeting lights as an interest probably isn't going to go down very well it's quite broad there's not really a specific audience you could target and therefore Instagram may be better for you and when I typically then when I refer to Instagram 
Instagram marketing, I'm referring to Instagram influencers. So Instagram influencers then work best for broad products or brand heavy products like fashion or fitness. Obviously, Instagram is a visual um, social media platform. Um, so things, niches that are visual like fitness niches, um, you have fitness models like fashion, obviously pictures of clothing, etc. then they will always work best on Instagram because there's typically influencers behind certain products and influencers where there's a face behind the brand always 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 work well because they have a good kind of intimate relationship with their followers and that will solve the number one problem you will have and experience as a new business advertising on Facebook is that you won't have many followers many likes and therefore people will be hesitant about spending their money with you whereas with the Instagram influencers that influencer has the trust and respect and relationship with its followers so by them endorsing your product and posting about it then of course they already have that trust and that following and that will be enough to convince them that you're legit and they'll be willing to spend their money with you of course if they like the product or not so with that being said then guys that pretty much wraps up the video i've covered all the points hopefully you guys have learned something new if you have then please drop a comment down below let me know what you've enjoyed from this video and if you did enjoy it then obviously um please do make sure you leave a like and with that being said then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video for the one-to-one -one call so here we are then guys on the previous video if you want to truly learn about